you said poppy there. <clears throat> This is about what knowing oneself, isn't it? Yeah. Right. So if you're, you, you've got, I feel you've got a trajectory that totally and utterly is in its own lane of commercial commerciality. I think it, it's the look, it's the, the vocal, the singing, but also it's the, it's the presentation. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. How much of that do you focus on? Because um, it seems to me that it comes reasonably natural for you. Yeah, I guess so. I think there's been a path of like, from the beginning learning who I am, trying to be other people, mm. and then going, hang on a minute, I don't like that. I feel like I'm in a new, at this point in time right now, I'm in a new space where I am just going, right, I've done everything I can do for now, and I've loved doing it, but I'm gonna click onto what I want to do. Mm. All the songs I wanna do, I'm like, I wanna do them. If it sounds a bit poppy and chirpy, I don't care. Killer Killer Podcast. Killer Killer Official dot com. <laughs> Street Culture TV. Beatbox created. Killer Keller. And we need to talk about world music and street culture. Killer Keller Podcast. Just like that. Let's get it. Just like we're going. Yeah, ladies and gentlemen, Killer Keller Podcast, live and direct central London, or as central as you need to be, choose to be, acquire desire and need to be. Yeah? <laughs> Big shout out to all the sharers and carers, people that have been clocking from the jump. Um, and allowing the podcast to keep yourselves well behaved and out of trouble. Our sponsors, the mighty GK Nifty Heads, have a massive 100,000 play to earn NFTs to give away to the streets. Just hit the link in the description or go to gkniftyheads.com and get ready for Hot Awards Summer 2024. Talking of which, I'm in good company. Uh, we have a very special guest today, a uh, lady that's very much at the forefront of moving and shaking and making as much noise as possible on a microphone. And I say that affectionately, she's a singer as well. And uh, furthermore, you've probably been sitting in a whole heap of raves. This is a drum and bass. <laughs> if he's inside the place, how are you, my darling? Whee! Okay. How are you doing? I'm good, how are you? Yeah, I'm good. good. I'm good. Uh, where have you come from? Essex. Essex. So a little bit of a way, but it's pretty, it's all right. It's easy. We whereabouts in Essex, my dear? Colchester. Colchester. Yeah. Col um, talk to me about Colchester in terms of, uh, uh, of jungle, drum and bass. I mean, Essex seems to be doing its thing. Do you know what? I, so I moved to Essex. Uh, I moved to Colchester, sorry. I'm actually from like a small town huh. in like, I don't know, they call it Denji area. So like South Woodham. Oh, so right. So started there in like this tiny town and it was just so like from in terms of like actually the roots of everything, I've just learned it from that little town. Oh, that is yeah. so quaint. So, so from a village, from a village. You're from, yeah, <laughs> so you're the only raver in a village. Only raver right? in the village. <laughs> but no, there was tons of us. Really, yeah. really. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We All jumping in the back of a metro, and off we go. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's incredible. Um, I, I find like a lot of the reverberance, shall we say, a lot of the uh, traction comes from those more rural areas and the desire to want to get into the yeah. rave, get into the cities. Yeah. It must have been the case for you. Yeah, for that sure. really was. And we were all really young, so we couldn't <clears throat> get anywhere. So we just had house parties. Really? Yeah. Really? Oh, yes, yeah, so of course. We must add at this point that you were <laughs> raving last night. <laughs> Where were oh, you? I was, I was at Shogun Sessions. Really? It was very Shogun. good. Yeah. Come on. What was that like? Was it good? It was really good. First time there. Um, really intimate. Um, never sort of seen anything like that. Cause decks are in the middle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, you can see the people at the back like wanting to be in the video. I was like, I'm going to go behind the camera <laughs> so I can absolutely have it. Yeah, I saw your stories and you were kind of like at the front. And I got yeah. the. I got was the it the front but the back? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 totally. <laughs> Enough to be seen, but not to be seen by the people that want to yeah. see. <laughs> I can do what I want. Yeah. Without the noise. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, so, yeah, back to the, uh, the, um, the journey. So. Like I said, when you're when you're from the rural areas, it's almost like the idea of uh, being a part of a scene. Yeah. N not that you don't have your own scenes of your own. You don't see that yet. Yeah. Yeah. So that's how it was. It was kind of like I found it. I remember if I take you way back to the first time I ever heard it, it was probably my friend uh, was listening to Kiss FM. I don't know, mm -hmm. on like at one p.m. Uh, mm -hmm. one a.m. Mm -hmm. Um, and she, we went to school the next, like, I think it was Monday, and she was like, right, Friday night, you need to come round. Mm -hmm. There's this music called drum and bass. Mm -hmm. You've got to hear it. Went round hers. We don't even know what the track was, but we were like, oh, amazing. Loved that. Listened to the whole hour. And then it wasn't long before we could hear it everywhere. Mm -hmm. And obviously it's a small town, mm -hmm. so you start hearing it. Mm -hmm. like, that's, drum that's that drum and bass stuff. <laughs> You're like, yeah. And that's so then you start, like, it. linking in with the others who are listening to it. A lot of the, them were older. Um had their own little groups, but sort of wiggled our way yeah, in, yeah, yeah. yeah. Tell me, um, 
because we do have a, a, a kindred spirit in the form of uh, of, of uh, rock, roll, metal, and, and emo. Yes, we, we got <laughs> into the school. Yes, yes. Yeah, so how old were you when you when you uh, found drum and bass? Uh, I it was quite late, so I was probably like 15, 15? 14, 14, 15. So before that, you were into before emo. That, rock I was yeah, little emo. Yeah. yeah, that's incredible. <laughs> uh, let's talk about emo for a second. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the emo podcast. Yeah. Um, so, <clears throat> you getting into that? What? Because there, there is a correlation of the heavier music yeah. and jungle, and arguably hip hop as well. Yeah, yeah. It's kind of part of the course, isn't it? Yeah. So I think that's what I'd, I'd heard it from my dad, as we were saying. Like my dad was into like Black Sabbath mm. and Alice Cooper, so I remember things like that. I wouldn't say I know a lot of the songs, but when I hear them, I'm like, oh, that reminds me of being in the living room and mm-hmm. like, hearing it. Um, and I don't know where I must have heard it. I think my I used to steal my brother's CDs a lot. <laughs> and my brother's like, absolutely anything goes with music. So he'll be into trance, he'll have share, like, <laughs> I believe on. <laughs> and then all of a sudden it'll be Sum 41, then it's dubstep, like it's a complete mix. So I used to steal his CDs and I stole Avril Lavigne to start with, um, Sum 41. And then it just led me into this little direction of finding Kerrang! TV. And, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Scuzz and things yeah. like that. Yeah, Scuzz. <laughs> Wow, isn't that something? <coughs> Drum and bass never had its own TV station. Isn't that something? Yeah, yeah, Hip hop did. Should, yeah, yeah something yeah. we should do. <laughs> political. Um, but no, I, I see that transition. I see that that uh, DNA. Yeah. And you're a vocalist in your own right because you sing. Yeah. Yeah. Were you singing in any format before drum and bass? No, I would have this dream of being like, obviously I liked all my rock bands. I was like, I'm going to be an Avril Lavigne. That's who I'm going to be. But I never played any instrument or sung. It was just something that wasn't really... Because I was into so many different things, my parents didn't really know where to guide me. Mm -hmm. So I was kind of like, I'm going to do this and then I'm going to do that. And I remember begging my mum for a skateboard half the time. And yeah, it was to and fro. So I never got into singing until maybe I was later on at about... uh, probably about 13, and I only did a couple of lessons. Mm-hmm. Yeah. To, I didn't know where to go with it. Yeah, I was going to yeah. say, because for you to suddenly get propelled yeah. into events, live arenas, yeah. fronting DJs, I mean, that, by comparison, did your parents ever push you in that direction? No, not at all. They were, I was so timid. And like I wouldn't even, if they were like, they would try and get me to go into a shop to buy my own ice cream. They'd be like, if I give you the, the Magnum coin, because it was a two pound coin, I was mm-hmm. like, I can get Magnum with that. Mm-hmm. They'd be like, go in and get it. I'd be like, no, I was terrified. Really? Terrified, yeah. Coy. So, yeah. So, I yeah, don't, even now they still say we don't know how you're doing it, especially like, for instance, Boomtown just gone. Yeah. That was like 5,000 people. Yeah, you were smacking, yeah, we've seen yeah. the videos. That's great, that was my phone, yeah. yeah. That is bonkers, yeah. isn't it? They're like, how? I'm just a different person as soon as he hit that stage. Yeah. Yeah. It was like a, like a, I, I say Sasha Fierce quite a lot, but you know, the kind yeah, of Yeah, yeah. Like, well, I say like, if, if he must be mine, but that's become such my name now that I'm like, mm. oh, I need a new alter ego name. Really? Yeah, I'm like, really? I need a new one. <laughs> Got to make one up. <laughs> wow. Yeah. What's your real name? Georgia. Georgia. Yeah. So it doesn't correlate at all, but. Well, maybe that's your... My alter ego yeah. is actually my former self. Yeah. Dun, dun, dun. It's funny because my real name's Lee and, and often a lot of them. I could, you know, I've almost got like a generation of people that know me for certain one name. And yeah, 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 I've got that. Do you so get in that? the small town, it was like G. Yeah. Um, my family still call me G. Yeah. Um, or it's Gigi because I've got nieces and nephews now. Yeah. So, um, and then it like shifted into Iffy. Mm-hmm. And the same group of mates from that town... There's a couple that know, um, so like Feline Reflex. <laughs> I knew her as Iffy, but she's friends with some of the girls that knew me as G. So when she's going, oh, Iffy, they're like, no, no, that's not her name. It's G. <laughs> yeah. It's really funny. It's know. weird to hear it in that scene as well, because I'm like, yeah, yeah totally. Yeah. With, with Roadblock, uh, so Harry calls me Kells, but Joel, uh, but Prime Cuts calls me Lee. Yeah. And that, that always the, the <laughs> dynamic. Yeah. yeah. David Ross, his head's going, what, what are we doing here? <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's going, oh, it's Kells. Yeah. <laughs> you can be one person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's <laughs> it. Yeah, yeah. Just, just the one. You know, name. <laughs> That's funny though, isn't it? Because yeah. you almost need a um, a persona mm. to drive you into those yeah. ar- areas of, of work where you, a little bit of you is like, you know, okay, I've got ambitions here, but yeah, yeah. I'm actually quite nervous about yeah. this. I need something, almost That's like the clown, mask clown. Yeah, yeah. Def- I've, at the start of my journey, that I feel like that was 100%. As mm. soon as I'd hit the mic, well, even my first actual performance was someone threw the mic at me. Huh? One of my mates. 
We'd well, always MC in the car. Yeah. Um, so again, like you were saying earlier, when it was like, oh, a daunting crowd and stuff, I was like, that's, it took me back to there. Because we were in a little, it was Chelmsford. Mm. Um, I think it was one of Unique's nights. Um, and yeah, my mate was booked as an MC. Mm. And we'd be in the car all the time, like, having a go. He'd be practicing and I'd be like trying to have a go. And uh, so he just looked at me and he was like, and I was like, what? And he's just like lobbed the mic at me, I caught it. Yeah, 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 yeah. And everyone's staring at me and I'm like, oh my God, what do I do? <laughs> and he's like, go. So I was just like, do or die. So go. Yeah, I did it. And then that was it. Everyone was like, way. Wow. And I got a, a book in like the next weekend yeah. at the same club, obviously, because they'd then seen the how like the crowd reacted. And what was the club called? Um, I don't even know what it was called now. But you was younger at the time. This was yeah, I was about uh, I was about twenty at the time, yeah, nineteen, yeah. twenty. Yeah. yeah, I didn't really take it seriously for a while because yeah. I had like two sixteens that just repeated for an hour. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I didn't know I was diver. I was terrible. Yeah. I just sort of did that, stopped for a bit. Do you think there was a novelty of a female being on the mic and? Oh, doing definitely. Anything? Yeah. Hopefully, it helped that I felt like I could. I mean, probably sound well squeaky back then, but mm. as I've been told. Yeah, You're not really. so squeaky anymore. Yeah. Oh, thanks. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Squeaky's good for singing. Yeah, squeaky's yeah, good for singing. We do that. It's just like whistle notes, you know? Yeah. yeah. Do you have to find yourself having to work your voice to, you know, singing over, you know, MCing? Yeah. So, especially like the tones of the tune, yeah. 100%. That's what we were saying earlier. Yeah. Some of the jump up like, songs, if I'm spitting, yeah. my freak is still higher than a guy's, so it yeah. will just get completely lost. <laughs> so I'm like, okay, what can I do with singing wise? I can go a little bit lower or a bit higher. Yeah. Which helps, so I'll try and do something like that. Yeah. And just suss it out. And it'll kind of bone thugs and harmony kind of way, you kind of sing yeah. over the beat with it. Yeah, because the, I, I'm guessing you put your, your mindset into the, the singing frame so that you're able to do what you want to do, cutting across the music in drum and bass. So I don't get lost, yeah. Yeah. Because you then see people lose interest because if I'm trying to spit, yeah. they can't hear me. Yeah. And then you sometimes get like sound engineers trying to turn me up. And I'm like, it's not going to work because now I'm just, yeah. you still can't hear me. Yeah. Um, and then you lose the crowd. Like yeah. you start seeing it. So you have to try and, what can I do to bring them back? Yeah, and yeah, yeah. Sing because there's not many. No, but that's the best bit. That do. Yeah, so. But you know, also, um, and this is it's the technical bit, I guess, is that when sound engineers, <laughs> when sound engineers, they turn up the when they, they turn up, up the mic. Yeah, they just go what up. That's guys used to, and that works for them. Yeah. It doesn't work for me. No. I need bass. Yeah, because yeah. what happens is you've, you've got um, louder in the mix. So when you come to sing, because you're louder, you're going to sound sharp because yeah. you've not got nothing to hook yeah, onto yeah. So, sonically. But then if you, and then if you do do, uh, it, have it turned up with the MCing, then like you say, it's a mis. It's, it's yeah, a, it's a real learning curve, and I'm still only just learning about that now. Because I used to, again, I used to be so nervous about going up to a sound engineer and being like, "Help me," because yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know what I'm doing, and I feel like sometimes you have to front that you know what you're doing all the time, yeah. especially as an MC. Yeah, and everything's front. As yeah, MC, everything's isn't it? front. And then I get nervous so much, so yeah. I'm like, right, okay, I've got to even go and talk to the sound engineer. Yeah. And I'm like, I don't actually know what I need from you, but I need you to help me sound good. <laughs> Is that the thing that makes you nervous the most about about raving about doing gigs? What do you mean? The sound engineer is that is that no, one of the contributing things? That's or? that's probably the newest one because okay. it, it's like um, it's I've definitely started noticing it. Mm. I feel like as I said with the crowd, I've definitely there's been a couple of gigs where I've definitely noticed it, and then your whole like demeanor changes because you're like oh my god they're not enjoying it. Mm. You're like right I've got to work I've got to try and do something. Mm. And then you panic but yeah. bring it back in yeah. yeah. I think with raving is it's the soundtrack to a lot of people's evenings. Yeah. A lot of times I don't think they even clock what's going on on stage. No, half of them don't. No. They're so like they're looking all, yeah. at me and I'm like, mm, but so actually they're, they're like... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so they're all going no. out for fag or whatever. They, you know, they're, they're bustling around and bumbling around and mm. having too much to drink and generally just being who they are. Um, but in your in our minds, it's like, mm. oh, what have you done wrong? We've well, got all the lights on you. Yeah. You're like, that's me. Yeah. Oh my God, what's yeah. happening? Yeah. We're only going to the loo or something. Yeah, like. <laughs> yeah, yeah, chill out. You're like, oh. <laughs> yeah, it's true, isn't it? <clears throat> um, yeah, maybe that's a stigma, I think. But I think every single act goes through that, particularly if you're doing like an hour, two hour set. Yeah. I mean, that's hard to keep Do people's you, attention. Do you, like when you're... Of course. Oh, yeah. Of course. I think, I think there's a... I go to a default you know, toolbox in my head, which is, right, pull that thing out and pull that yeah, thing yeah, out. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. As long as you've got your toolbox and you know, you yeah. know, like you say, you're, and not a lot of people can do it, your default is, well, right, let's start singing Sing belters. Yeah, yeah, definitely. You know what I mean? um, so moving on into drum and bass, 
because we were talking before about liquid sound yeah and that, that you're putting music yeah. together you're working yeah. in the studio yeah so we're um hopefully putting together a little weepy it's maybe nearly done with like <laughs> joe will be like we're not nearly done don't tell anyone <laughs> <laughs> um we've sort of finished one tune we're just finishing the video he was i think he was up till like four really? last night trying to like edit a few bits really rendering i don't know what these words mean rendering, like, okay yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> clicking buttons yeah. yeah yeah um so that's one almost done Another one, we've got the tune fairly there. I kind of sent him what, like a one sort of stem and was mm. like, this is the song I do, mm. sort of tune out. So I've just got to re-record, put all the harmonies in. And then the last one is just an idea. So it mm. might completely change, but that's there. I'm really? excited about it. Yeah, all liquid, bit poppy. Yeah. Because we thought maybe do like a little semi-commercial one, yeah. a liquid one. Um, and then a sort of... Uh, yeah, a bit more electronic vibe. Still, Ooh. like, liquidy. A bit more for me. Do you... Um, you said poppy <coughs> there. Mm. This is about what knowing oneself, isn't it? Yeah. Right, so if you're... You, you've got... I feel you've got a trajectory that totally and utterly is in its own lane of commercial commerciality. I think it's the look, it's the, the vocal, the singing, but also it's, it's the presentation. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. How much of that do you focus on? Because um, it seems to me that it comes reasonably natural for you. Yeah, I'd guess so. I think there's been a path of like, from the beginning, learning who I am, trying to be other people, mm. and then going, hang on a minute, I don't like that. I feel like I'm in a new, at this point in time right now, I'm in a new space where I am just going, right, I've done everything I can do for now, and I've loved doing it, but I'm gonna click onto what I want to do. Mm. All the songs I want to do, I'm like, I want to do them. If it sounds a bit poppy and chirpy, I don't care. Mm. I'm liking the vibe. Mm. Um, yeah, I guess that fairly comes natural, but... Mm. Does it come natural for you on your bringing into the, the scene? You know, because, you know, rural towns and yeah. places that, you know, they, these more pop popular versions of, you know, underground cultures that we <coughs> like. Sort of start there, yeah. yeah. Um, I think it was probably being the girl, the only girl. Yeah. <coughs> MC. There was there was more there was girl DJs, so Phenom Reflex was about as well. Mm -hmm. Um there wasn't any female MCs, so right. that was like it was novelty. Yeah, yeah. But I think that helped. Yeah. Because then it threw me in a bit more. Mm. Um, made me learn really quick. Mm. I did I feel like I had a bit of an ego with it all, but then I feel like that helps sort of get this MC character. Yeah. Um that then shattered and you rebuild. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I was a novelty, but I think it helped me. If that makes sense. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I'm aware of it now. I don't. I don't know. Back. No. There's no. I don't know. I don't see that. But no. perhaps that's something that you you've been conscious of. Maybe. Yeah. Because yeah. I don't want it to just be like, oh, there's a, like you see a lot of flyers, and it's like, oh, they just chuck a girl on, mm. so they f tick the box. Right. And then when you actually watch that girl. You're like, oh, are mm. they good there? Mm. There's, pl there's so many coming through as well. So mm. there's yeah. so many more. Amazing as well. That should be taken mm. into these flyers. Mm. Does that make sense? Yeah, it yeah. does make sense. No, I'm, I'm, I'm intrigued. Because, and this, you know, it, it, it sounds <laughs> contrived to me, think, you know, telling everybody, oh, yeah, yeah, girl, girl um, MCs, you know, what's the difference? Yeah. Well, there is a. There is a difference in a good way. Yeah, yeah. It should be celebrated in that way. Novelty don't really come into it though. But I understand that if you're coming in on entry, and from like a little town, yeah, yeah. that is. That all of a sudden yeah. it's like wow. I love being a female MC. Yeah. So when people are like, oh, we should take the female category away for like the drum and bass awards yeah. and things like that, I'm like, no, no, don't, because we're a whole different yeah. thing yeah. than the men. Yeah. As much as we are. You can't take that away from us and expect us to compete with them because we're a different yeah, 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 thing. Yeah, 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 Does yeah, that yeah. make sense? No, no, I rate that. Um, I love it, and that there are a few like female artists that don't just want to be artists. What do you love about being female MC the most? The look on people's faces when I, because I'll try and sing a hook, and they'll think, "Oh, here we go. She's just going to sing a bit mm. throughout the set," and then I like spit a sixteen or something, <laughs> I, like double time, and yeah. they're like. 
Because oh. I'll be like, oh, yeah, that's not what? Yeah, that's yeah. my favourite thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Never gets old. No, no, I don't I think it does. It. I remember seeing you, the first time I was introduced to you was Harry Shotter's Bars Battle that mm. he, he, he put on. And I, oh, I was I'm like, terrified. yeah, I was like, <laughs> who is that? Like, killed it. Yeah. And I was like, you're following, you know. Yeah. It's that desired effect. Yeah. What you talk about. the. Oh, that's nice, because I yeah. felt like I completely ruined that performance. <laughs> Yeah. But on what measure? <laughs> like, what the measure? But they were all saying it was a clash, and I was like, okay, let's. I was like, no, I'm not really a clash. Like, I'm from a village. No. Look at me. Can't clash anyone. What no, am I doing? you picked up. You picked. You know, everyone's. But they said up they did say they were like, sides. it's not the clash. It's just about mm. your performance. But mm. I was thinking, oh my god, I got to spit mm. as much as I can within five minutes. Mm -mm. When I should have like the next couple that went on, they like mm. hosted a bit. Mm. I was like, oh, I shouldn't have been so nervous. I should have just gone yeah. with the flow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I mean, I still made an impression. Yeah, so, yeah, it, yeah. Yeah, it, 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 was, it was great. Yeah, um, thank and you. do you think, do you think other female MCs, do you think they think the same way as you do about the genre of uh, female MC category? Um, I wouldn't know. I think the MCs wise, the girls I know anyway, I think they would love to keep that. Yeah. yeah, I've seen a lot of female DJs that don't want it. Mm. But then, for instance, like the be best newcomer, mm. Mills was Mills was mm. in that lineup. Mm -hmm. It wasn't best female newcomer. Mm -hmm. So we were like, we're slowly getting seeping in anyway. Yeah. So we shouldn't try to change it. Yeah. We shouldn't like don't remove the Jenga brick. Like just yeah, it's gonna come down on its own eventually. Like yeah, yeah, we're, yeah. We're yeah. moving things. So yeah, yeah. It really that is. That was the such case. a. Loved seeing that. Yeah. Yeah. It's a poignant. Yeah. Poignant moment. Yeah, definitely. How how conscious are you of um of your own branding moving forward? Because you know you said Avril Lavigne and yeah. the and, and entry of like you know getting into music. Yeah, yeah. You know she was she was the pin up of kind of more pop pop punk rock. Yeah. Yeah. Pop punk. Yeah. You know. Now that if if that's anything to go by. Think of that as like ten. Yeah. Now what on the what on the you know on the um, on the uh, number chart are you? Would you say from from a direction where you'd want to be from a pop, uh, you know a, a, a commercial place? Oh, what going into commercial? Or yeah, sort of? yeah. Um, I don't know. I'd I'd I feel like I'm really at a point where I'm like I'm just welcoming anything. Yeah. So I'm like if it starts going that way and I'm it flows better, yeah. then I'll go for it. If it's not and it keeps staying underground yeah, yeah. then I'll stay it's just I feel yeah. like it's just I'm not putting any I'm not going in any lanes I'm just making my own one I tell you why because I think you, you you above anybody I think could go for full bore yeah that and hey. and likely <laughs> the likelihood is you'll get away with it to yeah. to, to a great success oh, you know yeah. I think I do I do and I know I'm to. not the only one that thinks that yeah you know. I Tell me that's... everyone. Comment, please. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Comment below. <laughs> tell, us, tell us what's good. Yeah. Right. Favourite DJs at the moment? Oh. Oh, okay. Ooh. Polar and Bryson. Oh, okay. Yeah. Hmm. Um, oh, it's a bit of a... I change, like, the weather all yeah. the time. Uh, Polar and Bryson. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Any more? Uh, <laughs> any more, yeah. Got two, it gives three. Um... Oh no, I'm going to take ages thinking of these. I'm a Libra. It's not my fault. <laughs> um... <laughs> Um, panic, panic, panic. Yeah, panic. Polo and Bryson. Emergency, exit, exit, eject. I'm loving what Boo's doing. I know yeah. it's more commercial and yeah. stuff, but like him and yeah. Evil yeah. will be live now. Um, and Whiny, so Whiny mm. with P Money. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, nice. Those vibes. Nice. Okay, yeah. favourite MCs? Favourite MCs. Top, 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 top five, let's go five Evil on this one. Evil B, yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, let's see. Oh, I don't know. Yeah. P money, it will be. Yeah. Um. Oh, all my girls. There's too many girls as well. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um. Wise as a wise as goat. Yeah. Enemies. Club yeah. team. Oh, mate, there's too many. Yeah, I know. Like it. I know. I know. I know. <laughs> um. What do you look for in MCs? Um. Vibe, maybe yeah. vibe yeah. and lyrical, like content, I guess. Um, like Shotter, Shotter I used to be obsessed with, like when I was, mm. um, like learning, mm. like getting into drums because of just how quick and clever he was. Mm. Um, 
And then same with evil, like yeah. just so quick and clever, mm. witty. Mm. That's what I like. Yeah, humour. Yeah. yeah. Humour, but then also it being like, um, well, yeah, clever, mm. but it doesn't have to be so silly. No, yeah. There's like a Technical. slyness, like... Mm, yeah, I know. yeah, do you know what I mean? Yeah. I can't, uh, I can't uh, even put it into words. Yeah, it's kind of... I, I like the ironic... Attitude. Yeah, yeah the actually. ironic attitude. Yeah, yeah. it's like, boom, you know. Yeah. Just... Yeah, I like. I know exactly what you mean. Yeah. Um, Rick Ross, he he said at uh, a, a bar, um, out of all the alphabets, I'm a G. Yeah. As in alpha. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And you're betting on an alpha, yeah. so that I'm a G. Oh, that's good. I'm like, yeah, yeah, that's so sick. <laughs> you know, it's things like that that you know, on third or fourth listen, you yeah. say stuff. Wow, that. That's what I like when you kind of when you break down something and then listen again. You're like, you catch the next bit and you're like, oh, so the first time you listen to something, you're like, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, that's sick. I love that. Listen shit. again, you're like, hang on a minute, yeah. did he just say that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Love that. And then back around. And then there's the emotive side of things, the conscious side. So if you're if you're if you're in a conscious one and you you know you're going through something in your life, it's that's where you capture people from an emotional place that maybe feeling the same, going through the same thing. Yeah. Do you like songs like that? Do you, yeah, do you yeah. write songs like well, that? Well, I'm an emo. Yeah, Everything's yeah. sad. <laughs> Everything's sad. <laughs> That's why liquid fits, because yeah. I'm like, I can be sad on liquid and no one moans at me. <laughs> yeah, and I also think for you, vocally, that, that, sit, that sits really well. I can imagine that sitting really well. Yeah, I've been finding it does. Yeah. Because um, I, I love writing things like that. Like Evanescence was one of my favourite bands. Yeah, it still yeah. is, to yeah, be yeah. fair. And yeah. she's really sad and gothy mm. Mm. and I love that that I can able to sort of write something a little bit like that and put mm. it to drum and bass still yeah because I think on things like like I came in on jump up jump there's no space for that no so sometimes when people on. do start doing sad bars on jump up I'm like we all just want a good time we don't yeah. want to cry in the crowd okay <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> leave it to a liquid rave where we can all cry and hug yeah, each yeah. other no one wants to hug each other at jump up emo and bass <laughs> emo and yeah, bass yeah emo and bass do you think a lot of influence in the vocals coming from your love of e emo yeah yeah, definitely. Well, like just like particular melodies or you know uh, nuances. Not in particular, maybe like a ghosty vibe that will definitely be from really essence. Yeah, nice. in some of the stuff, I'm trying loads of different things because I'm like, let me try a little yeah. pop punky liquid thing. Yeah. Let me try a a haunting sort of mm. vibe. Yeah, because mm. I want to dip into all those things that I like. Yeah, and hopefully other people will. And other people will like as well. Okay, <laughs> uh, favorite uh, gigs you've done in 2024 thus far? Ooh. Boom. Boom. Really? Yeah. Boomtown. Boomtown. What a, what a vibe. <coughs> it was crazy. Crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Nothing's comparing after. I'm like, oh, everyone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Have we met before? <laughs> yeah. I, I've just done Boomtown. <laughs> just boom. just boom <laughs> it was nice being on like wrong side of the tracks as well. Cause mm. When people ask, because sometimes they're like, oh, you performed at Boom. Mm. And you're like, yeah, I was on wrong side of the tracks. Oh, it changes. Really? Because obviously you've got all the little... Not mm -hmm. that they're any different, mm -hmm. they're still a vibe. Mm -hmm. But it's nice that Ray, shout out to Ray Keith. Yeah, big gave up me Ray that Keith. platform to like be on a big stage yeah. with Kenny Ken yeah. and SS. Stop it. That was insane. Big up SS and Kenny yeah. Ken as well. He's OGs. Yeah. That is crazy, isn't Love it? it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So it's, you got to pinch yourself when these yeah, dumps. <laughs> I really like, I, I remember coming off stage and um, I mean, why is I, bless her, I'd said to her, I was like, I am crap in my pants you need to like stay by me I need you <laughs> out the side of the stage so I know you're there because I'll often like turn to her and she'll be like yeah you're doing, you're doing great kid I love Wiser <laughs> yeah I love her she's great um, Tiny was there as well so I had both of them like cheerleading mm. me Tanya was there yeah um, big up Tanya and it was it was after a while um, when I came off I was like oh wait, like, can't, can't find her and she was like oh I'm here I'm getting my drink she was like you were fine so I went off and got a drink <laughs> so you don't need me that's so sick yeah it was great I know I love her. Yeah. Little babe. Yeah. yeah. And a bit a bit of confidence here and there. Yeah. Boosting is, is always a good thing. Yeah. You know. Um I remember when we did the Paradise event together, Street yeah. Culture HQ. That was a lot of fun. That was, fun. That was pretty intense that for was you too. Very wasn't intense. It? Yeah. Talk to me about that. Because you actually mentioned it just we were coming up. I was yeah. like, Yeah, what's that? Yeah, and then talk to me about in. that. So this is like hip hop crew. Um I'm new to UK hip hop. Yeah. I'd say in the last um I don't know how many years. I remember um, an MC. I don't know if she really MCs anymore. Uh, a girl called Karina Kiss okay. introduced me to because she does a lot of storytelling, mm -hmm. and I don't. Mm -hmm. And I kind of wanted to try and bring a bit of that in. Mm -hmm. I'm still playing with it. Um, and she was like, "Listen to Dirty Dyke because he's mm -hmm. he's really good yeah. and it's really nitty and gritty." So I've got into that and four hours and things like that. Nice. And um, 
I'm thinking they're a totally different person. Like a hip hop lover mm -hmm. is different to a raver. Two different avatars. Yeah. yeah. And so I remember walking in. I was like, yeah, this this will be good. This will mm. be good. And I've walked up the stairs. And well, actually, when we first came in, I was gassed because I saw Doc Brown. Yeah. Yeah. Big and up I was Doc like, Brown. yeah. I was like, oh my god, hi. I was like. Mm. He followed me back. He was like, yeah, you're actually really good. I was like, oh my God, I'm going to be on it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No pressure. Yeah, no pressure. Now I'm really in so trouble. So I was like, oh God, like, oh, I was like, right, he's going to be here. Doc, mm. do really mm -hmm. well. Then I've walked up the stairs and I can't get in the room because there's so many people. <laughs> and I was rammed. thinking, oh my God, what yeah. am I going to do? So I'm trying to like police a totally different crowd. <laughs> and I came up to the side and I remember like, turned, like Mills was there all happy and chirpy. I was like, Mills, I'm... Have you seen everyone? Yeah, what yeah, the yeah, hell? Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, I think I turned to my mate and I was like, I've said hello to everyone. I can't even leave now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. I can't even go to the toilet. Can't I'm strapped. Go, yeah, because yeah, it was busy. And I think you'd said that. I sort of stepped up and you were like, you're all right? And I was like, yeah. And you were like, I know it's a different crowd, but you, you'll be fine. You'll be fine. I was like, I know what you're thinking. They're like, hip-hop crowd, you'll be fine. Was, they did yeah. and they went off. Yeah, that was really good. I thought it was the entry tune. I think it was Ready or Not, wasn't it? That, that you, you may not what? remember. Ready or Not came yeah, out. Right. And you immediately <laughs> started singing. took over, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah totally. <laughs> I was like, Adrenaline whiteout. Yeah. Right? Um, endorphins everywhere. Yeah. Um, I think it was Ready or Not because you immediately started singing, singing. on it. Yeah. Broke ice. Yeah. And I remember that. I remember that. I think I stayed on for maybe... Or more than two minutes just hyping as you were doing yeah, that. Yeah, 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 that I remember. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, what have I? <laughs> yeah. Come on. <laughs> but it was sick. It yeah, was that's sick. so good. Translation of of Iffy into those kind of genres, again, sticking with the commerciality sort of thing, I think it's reasonably, you know, it's, it's obvious. Yeah. And achieve, achievable, more than achievable, yeah. yeah. Like, you, you should be, you should, what would it be like if you did like a hip hop, tune produce tune double time you know what would oh, it be yeah. like if you did hip-hop full got stop a hidden hip-hop emo hip-hop as well tune have you hidden away yeah stop it, it might even be on my phone still yeah yeah fucking great I had that mode and it was very um yeah it was very it was very emo actually now thinking about it but it was nice it was different and i really enjoyed playing with that mm. Because um, again, it was like, oh, I'm doing, I was ultimately jump up. There was no, apart from my liquid, but I couldn't envision myself on it yeah. yet. I was like, oh, I want something really sad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I want something really dead. It's got email. Yeah. Um, yeah. And then, yeah, I got that made. And we were literally just playing about with it. And yeah, that was, I must have been about 23 then. Yeah, wow. 23. So that's a little while ago. But you were doing that. See, I'm telling you, man, I think it's, I think. I was just nervous just clean. anything out. That's what yeah. it was. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. But not now. Not now. Not now. Coming at you. Yeah, coming at yeah. you. <laughs> Bring it on. And that's the future, isn't it, my dear? Yeah. That's that's kind of where it's at. Yeah. More music, more life, more, more gigs, more iffy. Yeah. yeah, hopefully. Any shout outs you wanna give? Um oh god, I hate this. I know. Everyone This is worse <laughs> than the top three DJs. <laughs> what you got? Um, my GTA girls. So that's V dubs, enemy, um, Caliar. We've got um, shout out all the girls, all the girls. All the girls. Shout out all the girls, all the girls, all the girls like yeah. that. <laughs> Ify, it's been an absolute pleasure, my dear. He's <laughs> rock stars in the building. <laughs> Killer Keller podcast out like it was out of fashion service. You're right. Remember, crime don't pay, but neither do they. All right, you stay lucky and don't talk to anyone. I wouldn't. Take care. Easy. <laughs>